Welcome to our online watch night service. Wherever you are, whoever you are, we're delighted that you are joining us for this time of worship. Tonight, the season of Advent closes. We have watched, we have waited, we have hoped and dreamed. We have sighed with weariness and wept with desperation. And yet, here we are with our hearts full of love for the Messiah who was promised, for the Saviour who came. Tonight, perhaps different from any other Christmas Eve we have ever known, but still we celebrate the unchangeable truth that God so loved the world, he gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him shall not die, but have everlasting life. Let us worship God. We turn to our opening hymn of praise with the beautiful and emotive British sign language as we sing together, O Little Time of Bethlehem. response in this prayer is, Be born in us, our God Emmanuel. When you hear, O come to us, we say, Be, Be born, born in us, us our, our God Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Let us pray. God of all time and all people, with Mary and Joseph gazing into the manger, with shepherds hurrying to and from the stable, with angels praising you on high, with wise men kneeling before the Christ child, we pause to bring you our worship this night. O come to us. 
be born in us, our God, Emmanuel. Loving God, remind us that in taking flesh and being born as a baby, you identified yourself fully with us. You did not impose yourself on us, but drew alongside us and issued us an invitation and awaited our response. O come to us, be, be born, born in us, our God, Emmanuel. King of Kings, remind us that you made yourself vulnerable. Such was the price you paid in love. As we reflect on your incarnation, open our hearts to respond to you this evening. Encourage us to risk something for you who gave everything for us. O come to us, be, be born, born in us, us our God, God Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Amen. This reading is from the New International Reader's Version. Matthew, chapter 1, reading from verse 18. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary and Joseph had promised to get married, but before they started to live together, it became clear that she was going to have a baby. She became pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph was faithful to the law, but he did not want to put her to shame in public, so he planned to divorce her quietly. But as Joseph was thinking about this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. She is going to have a son. You must give him the name Jesus. That's because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to bring about what the Lord had said would happen. He had said through the prophet, The virgin is going to have a baby. She will give birth to a son and he will be called Emmanuel. The name Emmanuel means God with us. Joseph woke up. He did what the angel of the Lord commanded him to do. He took Mary home as his wife, but he did not sleep with her until she gave birth to a son, and Joseph gave him the name Jesus. Amen. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. Jesus is born. In those days, Caesar Augustus made a law. It required that a list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. It was the first time a list was made of the people, while Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone went to their own town to be listed. So Joseph went also. He went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea. That is where Bethlehem, the town of David, was. Joseph went there because he belonged to the family line of David. He went there with Mary to be listed. Mary was engaged to him. She was expecting a baby. Amen. Thanks be to God. Born in the night, Mary's child, a long way from your home. face lights up our way light of the world Mary's child dawn on a darkened day truth of our life Mary's child you tell It is true, 
Mary's child Go to your cross of wood Hope of the world Mary's child You're coming soon to reign Savior of all Mary's child Walk in our streets again. The newborn king arrived at 12 o'clock midnight precisely, Middle Eastern time. A rather feeble four pounds five ounces. But what could you expect from an undernourished peasant girl? No district nurse was present. There was no delivery bed, no injections, no gas and air, no shiny sterile instruments, no hints on correct breathing, no attendant doctors. Only soils, straw and cobwebs, and stirring animals and a farmyard smell, and Dr Joseph's shaking hand holding a quivering lamp for the innkeeper's wife who was busy with her rough, well-meaning fingers. So the new Red King entered his kingdom to the pricking of hay and the tight warmth of the long, swathing bandage. There was no dignity about it, except the dignity that attends every human birth. No mystery, except the normal mystery of a new life. No wonder, except the wonder of excited shepherds with half-mad stories of angelic visions. For God stooped low, and will stoop lower, even to the oozy bottom of the human ocean, to raise the sunken treasure of lost souls.
prayer of intercession. This prayer is based on the hymn we have just sung. When you hear me say, Hark, the herald angels sing, please respond with, Glory, Glory to, to the, new the newborn King. King. Let us pray. Lord God, today we chose to hark, to listen to your voice, to be still and know that you are God with us. Hark, the herald angels sing. Glory to, to the new newborn King. King. Lord God, we hear your promise of peace on earth, but we know that the nations have not yet embraced your peace. We pray for Iraq, Syria, Pakistan, Afghanistan and all the other places where there is war, anger and broken lives. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory, Glory to, to the, the newborn, newborn King. Lord God, we hear about the incarnate deity that you were pleased to dwell with us in flesh and blood. May we know you as Emmanuel, God with us, and may we share your presence with those around us. Hark, the herald angels sing, Glory, Glory to, to the, the newborn King. King. Lord God, we hear that Jesus was born and that we, that we no more may die. Be with those who are grieving at this time, Help us to embrace your promise of second birth and resurrection and live it out even here on earth. Hark the herald angels sing, Glory, Glory to, to the, the newborn King. King. Amen. Amen. Were they smiling? 
as they journeyed for months, travelling far from home, sure that the trip was worthwhile, but wondering if they had the stamina to endure it. Were they smiling as they fingered the gifts in their bags, gifts that symbolised suffering and death as much as hope and royalty? Were they smiling as they gazed above and realised that the star had moved on yet again, that there were still more miles to cover? Were they smiling when they reached the palace and encountered Herod? Were they smiling when they realised they'd made a mistake? And when they realised how awful that mistake might be for countless others? Were they smiling as they huddled by the campfire, stinking of sheep and sweat and unwashed clothes? Were they smiling as they scrambled through briars and hedgerows to release yet another of their flock from entrapment? Were they smiling when the heart-stopping appearance of an angel gate-crashed their night shift? Were they smiling? as they ran towards the town where they were routinely shunned as outcasts and nobodies? Was he smiling as he heard the news that a trip to Bethlehem had been mandated? Was he smiling as he led his nine-month pregnant fiancée on a dangerous road trip? Was he smiling as he wearily searched for a place for them to stay? Was he smiling as she screamed in agony with yet another contraction? Was she smiling when she left her home, her family, her security to travel with the man to whom she was betrothed in order to be counted? Was she smiling on the cold nights as they rested on that 90 mile journey? Was she smiling when the best they could find smelled of animals and isolation? Was she smiling as they came faster and faster, more urgent, more pressing, with each contraction, her body willing this baby to get out? I don't imagine so. And yet we believe that, like most new parents, Mary and Joseph will have smiled at their newborn. We are told that the shepherds returned to their fields rejoicing. We imagine that the Magi were glad they'd made the trip. Did they know the smile of God? I am absolutely convinced of that. Maybe this hasn't been the year for many smiles. It's been so hard. We've missed out on contact with others, human touch, hugs. We've missed real life interactions and endured the on-screen ones. We've been restricted and regulated. We've masked and sanitised and kept our distance. For sure, it has been the year when most of our smiles have been hidden behind face masks. And I don't imagine that many of you have smiled as much in 2020 as you did do in other years. But we are not the first to have experienced life being very different from how we had planned. We are not the first to have endured hardships and restrictions. We are not the first to have had to adjust how we relate to one another. We are not the first to have longed for life to be simpler, more normal. You may have found it harder to smile at points in 2020. But the truth of of Christmas is that the things that really matter are unchanged. God is still Lord of the universe. You are still deeply loved. You are still worth the King of glory making the journey from heaven to be born in a grotty stable. You are precious and worth saving. And tonight, God makes his face to smile upon you. You wear a mask. So do I. But nothing could mask the love God has for us. Nothing should mask the message of Christmas. So may we read in each other's eyes hope, peace, joy and love. As we move towards midnight, we're going to sing Silent Night. When we finish, I invite you to ask God's blessing on everyone else who is watching by signing, peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Silent.
silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Silent night, holy night, shepherds quake at the sight, glory stream from heaven afar, heavenly hosts in alleluia. Silent night, holy night, Son of God, love's pure light, radiant beams from thy holy face, with the dawn of redeemed. Today, Christmas Day, we light the final candle on our Advent wreath, the white one for Jesus. But first of all, let's light the others. First of all, the candle of hope. And then the candle of peace. The pink one, which is the candle of joy. And the fourth one, which is the candle of love. And now, on Jesus' birthday, we light a candle for Jesus. And as we do so, we pray, Holy God, thank you for Jesus as we celebrate his birthday today. Give us the hope, the peace, the joy and the love that only he can bring. For his sake. Amen.
the first Christmas was pretty simple. It's okay that ours this year will be too. The first Christmas was full of wonder and praise. May ours be the same this year. The first Christmas changed the world forever. In this world of ours that has changed so much in 2020, may we know hope, peace, joy and love. And most of all, may we know Christ the Lord who was born to save. Amen and God bless you.